Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and today we're going to look at a couple of apps that are essential if you're going to be taking your netbook on a business trip. First of all, I'm going to recommend Firefox as your browser. It's just better than Internet Explorer and safer. The next thing that's really important if you're going to be taking your netbook on business is that you have a good media player. VLC player will play any video regardless of codec. If you receive files for business, this is essential. One of the other great advantages to using this player is that you can actually play broken files. Sometimes when a colleague emails me files, they often get corrupt in the process, and VLC player gets a Next up, we've got OpenOffice. If you don't have an extra $99 to spare for Microsoft Word, why don't you just get this? It's free, and it'll open up any file format that you receive that's document-based. The only trick is, is that when you're saving it, it will try to save it in OpenOffice format, so you have to select Microsoft Word if you're going to be sending it off to colleagues who don't use OpenOffice. As you can see, it's got the same look and feel as Microsoft Word, so it really isn't a big adjustment to make the move over to this free software. If you're not used to using OpenOffice and you'd like something a little more traditional, but you don't want to pay the exorbitant Microsoft Office fees, Corel Writer is a very good option. It has the exact same look and feel, almost looks a little bit more polished than uh, open Office, but if you buy it through Intel's app up, you can get five licenses for only $19.95. The final application we're going to be looking at today is Hotspot Shield. If you are traveling outside of the U.S., say to China or some countries in uh, Africa, uh, there are some restrictions on websites that you can visit. For instance, in China, you can't visit Facebook or YouTube, but I've also heard from some business travelers that they haven't been able to access their home or work networks. So it's best to come prepared with something like this, which will trick the internet into thinking that you're in a different country so that you can access pretty much anything that you'll need. This is free and it is the easiest one to set up that I was able to find.